morning, everybody. It's so great to be here with you today on Today Matters. I'm Pastor Jason Sneddon, and for the next five days, I'm going to be taking you on a crazy ride. Some of you know that I was the Lakeside Campus Pastor, and some of you also know that Pastor Jeremy presented to me the idea of moving out to the Midwest in an effort to plant satellite campuses from Skyline. And full disclosure here, my response was a very clear no. The funny part is, when God has a plan, sometimes we don't have a choice in the matter. Long story short, about six months later, me and my family found ourselves driving across the country in the middle of a pandemic that we really knew nothing about yet. So we packed up with our five kids and our five dogs for a three-day trek that turned into seven days. You could say it was an adventure that led to the ultimate adventure of our lives. This last May marked two years now since our move. We live in the Kansas City metro area, culture and climate shock all in one coming from San Diego, but I've got to say this is truly an amazing place. I'm going to fast forward to about a year ago. I was driving and saw a church building that reminded me of our Lakeside campus quite a bit. And as I got closer, I saw a for sale sign. Of course, this was very exciting for me, but it also seemed highly unlikely to pull off purchasing a building at the time. So time passed and the building was eventually pending sale and I just let the thought go. A couple of months later, I was driving by again and the sign was still up. And when I checked the status, it came back up on the market. That's an interesting coincidence, right? But we all know that there's really no such thing as coincidence. And I simply wasn't able to remove this building from my mind. And I would literally have sleepless nights because of it. So over the next few weeks, a caravan of us pastors out here in Kansas City, we got together to pray over the area and we drove to this building and did just that. When we pulled up, there were about eight cars in the parking lot and the agent was showing it to some potential clients at the time. That wasn't exactly a moment of excitement for me, but we got out, we prayed over the building and we just kind of went about our day praying over the rest of the area. Well, here we are today and Skyline Church now owns the very building that we were talking about. So some of you might be wondering, okay, where's the devotional, Jason? Here it is. I'm starting this week off talking about seed planting. If you recall at the beginning, Pastor Jeremy asked me to move out here. A seed was planted. In a strategic and supernatural way posed by God, I drove by a church and reminded me of our lakeside campus and discovered it was for sale. A seed was planted. The building sold. I stopped watering the seed, but it didn't die because God had me discover it was available again. Then God planted a seed in Pastor Jeremy for this vision that we have of planting 10 church campuses in 10 years. Coincidence? Not at all. Planted seed? Absolutely. And because God never gives up on his plan, the circumstances worked out perfectly. Listen to these verses from 1 Corinthians verses 6 through 9 as the Apostle Paul is writing. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, for we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. I'm not sure if you heard that or not, but those verses should speak volumes to all of us. A seed planted, watered. Of course, there's tilling of the soil and other things involved too, but God makes it grow. Who am I in this? Nobody really, but we are so extremely substantial because God uses us. We are needed to accomplish a task that God has shaped each one of us for. Did I think honestly that this would happen the way it did? Absolutely not. Don't forget that I thought Pastor Jeremy was out of his mind for even thinking I would move here. But he was just responding to God and planting a seed where God wanted it. And guess what? It's growing. That's how God works. So I'm excited for you to join me again tomorrow as we unfold more of this story. And be sure to tune in again because this week is building up to reveal of Skyline's new location in Kansas City. I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Today Matters.